The Welsh Mountain Zoo is set on a 37 acre site on the hilltops just above Colwyn Bay. I think last year we had well over 100,000 visitors which is great and every year it seems to be increasing at the moment which is great news for us. We've got a great variety of animals here, we've got some snow leopards which uh, last, this year have had some cubs, um, we've also got bears, meerkats, tigers, chimpanzees and sea lions are one of the favourites of our visitors. The reason we've gone down the digital route is um, all our visitors, or a lot of visitors are sort of expecting something a little bit more from their experience. Um, we're in the digital age, everyone wants something a little bit more advanced. Um, so we've gone down this route to improve the customer experience, um, give, give them something a little bit extra that's a little bit fun but also educational. Um, we've had an avatar software which uses a webcam and facial recognition technology. We've also got a 4D immersive um, experience uh, using different habitats um, for some of the animals we've got here at the zoo. Um, that's linked in with sort of a wind machine, smells and sounds. And we've also got a new smartphone app um, where the visitors can go around and scan QR codes or use their NFC on their phone to get gain more information about the animals. Our thinking is that most people have smartphones and they're looking at how they can use their smartphones with whatever they do. So we've introduced a smartphone app to be able to bring that and it's also something they can then use afterwards and sort of enhance the experience afterwards as well. We got funding from uh, the Digital Tourism Project um, without which we wouldn't have been able to put the project in motion. Um, we also had a lot of help from our technical advisor Paul at Live Tech um, who's done a lot of the work for us and the development of the technology. I think different people respond to different things in different ways. Some people will love the animals, some people will come in they'll just love the views, other people will, will appreciate the technology. So it's about having something for everyone. The project is obviously still in early days um, and over the winter we'll sort of be testing it and making sure it's ready um, for the full effect next season. If it's successful we'll look at developing it, adding more habitats and more animal information into it um, and possibly looking at developing it further to give a better experience for our visitors.